Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the kaleidoscopy effect I just released for my more than an hour loops. This is going to be my inspiration for today. What I usually do when I want to create a retro kaleidoscopic effect is to look at 60s or 70s pattern and then I recreate them in After Effects. You can also do this technique with just like pictures and it's going to make the kaleidoscopic effect to your pictures or to your videos. I'm going to drag my image as a reference and I'm going to create a new composition. Composition, new comp, and it's a 1920 by 1080, it's HD, and you can make it for a minute if you want. So here I have a composition of one minute long. I'm going to bring my image in my comp just to keep the colors close. So I'm going to create a black solid for the background since there's a lot of black. Layer, new, solid, and black. Okay. And now I need a yellow line. To do so, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the rectangle tool and then I'm going to change the fill color. I'm going to click on this tool here, then I'm going to select the color and click OK. And now I only need to make sure that nothing is selected here and I can make my line. I have a line here and I think there's a small line of yellow here too. So I'm just going to click somewhere else so that nothing is selected and I'm going to make another line. So that allows me to have two different shapes here. If I would do it on the same shape, I would have both shapes under one layer here. But I'd rather have two different shapes. I'm just gonna always put my, my dress on top. Uh, my next color is pink. So same thing, I just select my rectangle tool. I can take the eyedropper and I go pick up my pink and I'm gonna make a line. I pick my selection tool and with the arrows on my keyboard, I'm just going to go down a little like that. There's another pink line on top. Nothing is selected. I take my rectangle tool and I'm going to make another line on top here. Click elsewhere. Now you see that there's a circle, but I'm going to do the circle at the end. Because it goes on top of the other shape, so it's going to be easier for you to understand. Now we could do the green one. So I drop thingy. Green, okay, and it goes right on top of this one, like this. We could do the circle right now. So the circle, you just click on the rectangle tool, you hold it with your finger on your, your mouse, and then you select the ellipse tool. And now you start making your shape, and if you click on PC, it's Alt, Control and the arrow on top of control to make sure that the shape like, always stay the same like that. Then I take my selection tool and I can move it and I can press the little arrow on top of control if I want to, to size it. Just take the corner, press the arrow. So something like that. Okay, I click elsewhere. We could do the blue one now. So I go back here, I press a little on it, rectangle tool. And I change the fill, take the eyedropper, and I select the blue. And the blue goes right under the yellow ear, like this. Okay, I'm just gonna put my dress on top to make sure that I have all the colors. We are missing the pink circle. So go back to the circle, ellipse tool, and Still, we don't see the fill thing because the dress was selected. So fill, same thing. Alt control and the arrow. I take the selection tool. Just gonna lift it a little. Now we need the yellow circle inside. Kind of looks similar to our inspiration image. I'm just gonna erase the dress since we're not gonna need it anymore. So that's gonna be my base for the animation we're gonna create now. I'm just gonna select everything and I'm gonna pre-comp. I right, select pre-comp, we could put shapes. Okay. And now I'm gonna go in effect and preset and write CC Kaleida. Like this. So now you're gonna 
already see that it changed all your shapes. That, that just means that you need to select what you want it to make. So you see that we have different options here. You can increase the size of the shapes. You can change the center of the shapes. You can change the mirroring type. I usually prefer stardish and flower because they make nice shapes. But it's really up to you. You can change the rotation too. So now you're starting to see the kaleidoscopic effect. And also when you animate it, you can choose to make the center float. So it's not always going to be centered here. It can go down, just change. So I'm gonna open this here. Go in my CC Kaleida options. I'm gonna add a clock watch to all my different options. And I'm gonna go at the end. And I'm just gonna have fun with them and change the size and center and the rotation. I like to select all my little keyframes and then I right click and I go in keyframe assistant and I ease them out. Same thing for the end there, I would select my keyframe and ease them in. So that makes the movement smoother. So here we have like one animation that we could do with them. And often I feel like just one layer like that is not psychedelic enough. So what I like to do is to take my comp and then I duplicate it on my PC to control D. And what I would do is that I would change the mirroring to another shape, like a flower. And then I would go in the mode here and maybe do exclusion. So that every time that my shape here goes on top of the other shape, it creates more different color. And I could add a third layer and it's always going to look different. And this one I could change to unfold. Now we have three different kaleidoscopic layers. Let's say that you really like this, then you could pre-comp the tree and, and then you could duplicate this on, on my PC to control D. You go in the distort section and I think I did twirl last time when I made the free pack. And then you can just like have fun doing super crazy twirl like this but since we have two layers you're still going to see the layer under so it's not just the twirl so you can make it really trippy so if you adjust the twirl, twirl radius and you make it like more centered more small then it, it, it's kind of fun like that i think that's what i did for the free pack i made it makes it more special than just uh, using the kaleidoscopic effect. So usually when you play with shapes, it's pretty fast to render it. It's just solid, so it shouldn't be long. This was a fan request. If you have questions or you have a request, let me know and maybe I can help you out. Have a nice day, bye!